Now to an update on a story we've been covering over the past couple of days about a valedictorian mix up. Rogers ISD not backing down from their original decision not to award senior Allison Talbot valedictorian, despite admitting there was a mistake with her midterm grades. Channel 6 News reporter Chris Rogers joins us now with the latest. Chris. Doug Leslie, the district admitted that when Allison Talbot's correct midterm grade was tallied, the standout cheerleader would have been named valedictorian. However, despite knowing that, the district will not award her that position. Instead of making Talbot valedictorian, the district changed its mind and decided to use final grades instead of midterm grades, as it typically does for the class ranks. When the final grades were calculated, Talbot had dropped back to number two, with the other student who we are choosing not to name for the sake of privacy placing number one. Now, when I spoke to Rogers Superintendent Joe Craig over the phone today, he stood by the decision, calling this a unique situation. Usually when the grades come in at the nine weeks mark to determine this, they're the accurate grades. So my, to my knowledge, we've never had a an error reported that would be um, to this level where it would, would cause this type of situation. Now, Doug Leslie, I asked Craig if they had altered school policy in this case, and he said they had not. Coming up tonight, Tim, we'll hear more from him as well as reaction from Talbot, who says that valedictorian title is rightfully hers. Doug Leslie.